I was always such a huge fan of bull riding that as a kid, PBR, you know, that, that was my passion. I always loved watching it. Uh, and I'd go to school wearing a t-shirt that said cowboy up. I had assless chaps, I had a cowboy hat. I even had a lasso, I had it all. Like, I was a cowboy. I was a little five-year-old kid running around in school just acting like a cowboy. That was me. And I did try it one time and mom caught wind of it and realized that I was serious about it. It just wasn't one of my you know, five-year-old fantasies that I was gonna have. And mom said, pick something different. So I waited a couple years and I decided to pick the most expensive thing a kid can. So that's payback. Well, just, I've, I've raced here a lot, and I've actually found the line. For me, growing up in California, California was everything I'd ever known. It wasn't until I started racing quarter midgets when I actually really started traveling. Racing quarter midgets, we traveled to 30-something different states, and we saw a lot, and that's really when we fell in love with North Carolina, and we always wanted to find our way back here and I moved out here, actually lived with Gillens for a little while. That was, that was really hard. It was, it was harder on my parents, I think, than it was me, because for me, it was my dreams coming true. I started racing quarter midgets at the age of nine. Actually, my very first race was on my ninth birthday. And I don't remember how I finished that day, but I wanna say I did pretty good for my first start. We were actually getting ready to go dirt midget racing when David Gillen had come along and asked me to drive his stock car, late model. Now he's within a half a car length as Greg Edwards gets into the two, got him sideways. Tyler Rankrum takes advantage of it, dives underneath both of them. He will get the lead in between turns one and two. Tyler Ankrum, new leader at Langley Speedway. Possibly a new winner. Tyler Ankrum, that 58, 14 years old, to the inside of the two of Matt Waltz. The call. Actually, he asked me on a New Year's Eve party at my house in California what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And he was still cup driving at the time. And I remember getting a funny look from him because I think I looked at him like he was crazy. And I was like, what do you mean what I want to do? I want to do what you do. That's what it was as a kid, it was a dream. You know, auto club, growing up, watching cup races there. We get our fifth wheel weekend warrior and we go park on the back stretch and you can watch the cup cars screaming by. You know, Jimmy Johnson was typically the guy winning at Auto Club. And every single time you saw him come off turn two leading, it was like, that's my dream to be like that guy one day. And now the, the dream seems possibly real. I think the thing that makes me different from most drivers was just my, my lifestyle outside of racing. For guys my age, it's very different. For the younger crowd, it's very different. It's almost a full-time job. You know, I wake up early in the morning and I'm essentially working all day versus where I always kind of felt drivers, their only responsibility was make sure they got to the racetrack and make sure they learn and study. And I feel like at times, that has helped me because it's taught me how to, you know, have a, essentially have a job outside of racing and learn, you know, work ethic and what manual labor is actually like. And I've actually, I appreciate it a lot because you'd be amazed how many 19 year olds don't know how to weed whack or turn one on. There's so much you can learn in the real world, you know, working for people. I worked for my dad for a little while in, the meat, in his meat processing company. And you learn so much just being out there in the world and being hands-on, like how, learning how to get inside a breaker box and fix it, or learning how to fix electrical and put in fuses and all that stuff. All those kinds of things are you know, really important to, to your life. And if you can learn those lessons that you take away from wherever you work, it's gonna help you grow. And I feel like a lot of what I've done outside of racing on this farm has helped me grow in racing.